Hey Wastecoated Wanderers of the Internet. So the Positive Wastecoats return to YouTube continues again today with another video response. This time in response to the YouTube channel Talk. Now before I start discussing around what the topic is, I'd like to point out uh, that everybody on Talk drinks tea. Now while I do drink tea, I, I don't want to follow the masses, but I do want to drink. Unfortunately, it's not a product placement. So in the last series of talk videos, Daniel, Jack and Sammy talked about the film industry and whether or not it's dying or it's still alive as ever. And here are my two cents. In my opinion, the film industry is still very much alive. And I find it very difficult to argue against that. Because if you look at how many people are going to the cinema still and the income that movies are making and the ability for, for directors and producers and executive producers and companies and whoever to put money into movies, it is still there, it is still growing and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. One area that I'd like to talk about that I don't think many people have talked about yet is the use of uh, independent films and how they're promoted within the film industry. Sequels such as Skyfall and The Dark Knight Rises brings in a lot of money to the movie industry. And I think there's a risk here. While these are fantastic films which are made superbly and even, yes, allow for the development of um, more in, uh, standalone films by the same directors, it's creating a reliance on sequels and the big movies. It's taking away from the independent standalone films, which in my mind is this amazing part of uh, cinema and going to the cinema. It's We rely too heavily on going to see the big films and we don't get a chance to see the small endearing little films that you learn to love. Part of this in my mind is we do not do, or society does not do enough to promote show houses and um, the promotion of independent films. There's a cafe in uh, Southampton called the Art House Cafe if you've come to any of the Southampton YouTube gatherings, we do a lot of meetups within there. They do amazing work uh, within the community and part of that is around showing films. And they, they have a film group. And I think it's nice because as well as showing the big films, they're showing the small films. The small independent films, especially small independent British films, have that unique, endearing sense of Britishness and British humour and you don't get that as much at least in the big films and also with the big films you know you're going to enjoy it or you know you're going to really not enjoy it or they, there are still quite heavy emotions but you kind of know what you're walking into whereas with these small films you don't there's still this uniqueness about going in and wondering what you're going to watch and what it's like and we don't have that in cinema today you look at the big names uh, you know, you look at what actors are in them, who's directed them, you know, if it's a James Bond, if it's a Batman or whatever, and you know what you're going to go and watch. I miss going to watch films that, you know what, just, just on the spur of whim, you've gone, I'm going to watch that. Maybe that says more about me, I don't know. When, two years ago, I found out that the UK Film Council was being scrapped, I was really, really sad about that, because a number of my favourite films which haven't been massively like in the cinemas oh my god kind of uh, trailers have surprised and endeared themselves to me and a lot of them have been supported by the UK Film Council um, obviously there still is a British Institute of Film BFI, no British Film Institute, yeah BFI and I really hope that they do equally good stuff I know they do some amazing work around um, uh, training, education, uh, promoting cinemas, but I'm talking about content. And it's been around since the 1930s. I don't know, I won't say they haven't because I don't know, but I don't know if I've seen anything and gone, oh yeah, that's, that's really good that's been created or, or supported by uh, the BFI. Whereas with the UK Film Council, it was there. And I knew, I, I knew if I was watching a film and it said UK Film Council, I'd be able to put good money that I would enjoy that film. And, and that's gone now.
YouTube created a platform for independent you know, video creators and people to create short films and some short films are just incredible however YouTube is going in the same direction as uh, movies you need a big name or lots of subscribers or YouTube's backing to even get noticed a little bit and yes you can work around that by having uh, support from the your friends on YouTube and YouTube community but to really get noticed big time it's hard now and to an extent yes it should be hard if you're going to create something with your heart and soul and passion you should want to promote that with the same enthusiasm however I think what's really sad is when somebody puts so much time and effort into a short film let's say and they put it up there and it doesn't get noticed and yeah that's just really sad it's, it's one reason why this year I'm going to be starting a um, a secret plan so that we can come together again and see people's content um, in a different setting and see a variety of people's content that's that's too much given away already in conclusion film is isn't going to die I don't think it will ever die people have different ways of watching it people enjoy going to the cinema and watching a film this massive screen in front of you some people go every week, twice a week, three times a week even. I feel sad and I feel worried that the UK film industry, at least, is going to change to a point where if it's not a massive film with a massive cast, a massive budget, it's not going to get in the cinema. So that's what I think guys, if you agree or disagree, uh, let us know in the comments down below. Um, as always this week, video every day this week on the Positive Waistcoat, and yeah, I will be seeing you guys soon. Look after yourselves. Ta-ra.